Hello, good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading Monday the 19th of September 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs, and uh, alternatively you can certainly download the uh, Trade Signal app, signals and market updates from leading providers, myself included, at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly, certainly download it at the normal uh, Android and Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of European markets, certainly a stellar close. Given, even given the fact that we had Deutsche Bank concerns last week, certainly markets have shrugged them off and uh, certainly negated them altogether. Okay, uh, FTSE finishing up 1.5%, German DAX up almost a percentage point. Very, very impressive. The French CAC up 1.4%. So certainly uh, impressive. Certainly very, very impressive. So, um, like I said, Deutsche Bank concerns certainly uh, pushed to the background. We did have uh, uh, other alternative uh, negative day, although we did have the Asian markets higher in the sense that China certainly was on, on online, given the fact that Japan was off on holiday, and China certainly finished higher. Now, uh, we had weed comments from Mr. Weed when anti-QE, from Mr. Jazbek as well, stating that there's no additional QE needed. We did have a, a third-party source as well, indicating no further QE from the ECB. And uh, we have had the euro rally from the 1.15 handle now. That certainly failed to uh, to stop this potential rally. Uh, and again, it's from the back of uh, uh, individuals seeing that the Fed will not raise rates. Uh, again, indicating a negative price action. Uh, now, we did have a bullish argument with regards to oil. Oil uh, touched intraday high of 44 before going back down to 43. From my understanding, it wasn't exactly overtly uh, bullish, although... There was a source from Venezuela saying that they've been speaking to Iran and the OPEC and non-OPEC members and apparently they're going to agree. So again, strange, uh, very, very strange. Now we do have political uncertainty in Germany, Italy and Spain, especially with Miss Merkel's uh, potentially uh, chancellor losing potential further power uh, in, Bernil, in the Berlin election. So again, that certainly is a concern. Now we did have a German... Uh, Bundesbank as well indicating uh, slowing growth uh, and again certainly exerting pressure on the uh, the German uh, export machine. Uh, also we had weaker earnings from Mighty and LV okay and, and also we had concerns with regards to current account from the European perspective uh, although we did have construction data that came out stronger than expected so certainly some mixed data there EU construction stronger, dairy press earnings were stronger and again, the only real uh, bullish argument was from uh, the likes of uh, Venezuela. And again, that certainly hasn't, uh, certainly failed to keep the oil price higher. So let's look at the technical picture now, especially with regards to the FTSE 100 first and, first and foremost. Now we had a H&S formation on the FTSE, uh, and the neckline certainly has been pierced. So this H&S no longer exists. Okay, from my perspective, really, if anything, it's uh, it's more of a, um, a lower high. That's all I'm going to be focusing on now. So taking the pivot high to the low. And again, we're into that Fib 61% zone. So again, into resistance at this zone. Okay, on the FTSE 100. Again, we still have the concept of lower lows and lower highs. Okay, so again, my bias will remain bearish on the uh, FTSE 100. Until oil starts to really make a move higher. Now, if you look at the 60-minute chart, we certainly are into resistance on the FTSE here. You can see that we certainly have resistance here at uh, around the uh, 6815 zone on the FTSE, so certainly under pressure here. Uh, so again, 6815 certainly seems to be solid resistance on the FTSE. Six, 10 minute chart, you have an intraday double top as well at 6813. So again, looking for a double top on the FTSE. We did have a H&S formation towards the close, but that certainly didn't transpire or materialize. So for now, it's all about a double top at 6813, which obviously corroborates with the 60 minute chart, okay, and uh, the daily chart with FIB as well. And we do need to see weakness in Asia in order for the FTSE certainly start to uh, see weakness as well and look to potentially make meet the uh, gap fill below. The gap that's remained remains open now is at 6710. We certainly have gapped up almost 100 points today, so we're very impressive, especially given the fact that oil price is exactly at $43, so no real move on oil at all. If anything, it was more of a sterling related move, uh, if anything else. Okay, and again, a relief rally from a potential uh, a rate hike delay from the Fed on Wednesday or a pot or potential front running of the BOJ on Wednesday too. Okay, so that certainly seems to be a situation with the FTSE 100. Let's bring up the German DAX now. 
where are our DAX? Here we go. So again, German DAX not really making new highs. Uh, if anything, it's more of a short covering bounce from the 10 to uh, 70 zone up to the 10 at 380 zone. So almost 100 point pop on the German DAX as well, and certainly holding that resistance. Daily chart was just inside bar consolidation, so certainly indicating further weakness as well, or maintaining weakness, folks. Okay, 10 minute chart, like I said, double top there. 60 minute chart as well. It's more of a lower high, if anything, and making lower lows and lower highs, and still below that key diagonal trend line. So still, uh, bias remains bearish there. Okay, on the uh, German DAX. So again, looking for that potential gap to fee close below. And like I said, Deutsche Bank concerns certainly remain in the background although uh, we're ignored today. Daily chart of uh, the French CAC, certainly out of all the indices really, the French CAC is probably the most bullish and uh, is probably the strongest, okay. 60 minute chart, the French CAC at the moment really, it's just a uh, feeble bounce, no real conviction yet, okay. 10 minute chart as well, we're struggling at resistance here and we have the unfilled gap below. So again, French CAC potentially vulnerable to closing the gap below. Uh, the last but not least is going to be European stocks. Let's just bring European or Euro 50, should I say? Euro stocks 50 again, holding that key resistance line at the uh, 2970 zone. 60 minute chart, still low lows, low highs. And the daily chart really was an inside bar with cons with the potential next move being the uh, the actual uh, area zone at 2900. So watch out for 2900, that's an important zone on the downside. For the euro stocks and again you do have an unfilled gap at 2935 that certainly needs to close so again certainly be open to that as well okay uh, now again looking at the uh, banking sector again it's quite important if you look at the banking sector here daily chart the german dax really it's uh, still looking for potential support below and you do have an unfilled gap as well and if anything can close it, it certainly is deutsche bank so again bear that in mind okay the FTSE uk banking stocks certainly did bounce Today certainly a bullish engulfed candle, but in reality it's still lower lows, lower highs, and it certainly seems like it wants to retest this key breakout zone here. So again, German bank, the FTSE bank, certainly vulnerable to a further downside as well. Look at the European banking stocks. Here we go, stock 600 European banking stocks. So if we look at the daily chart, okay, so daily chart still remains bearish. It's an inside bar broken the key diagonal trend line. And again, looking for further downside. So more of a um, short squeeze, hopium type trade. And again, like I said, looking for further weakness and looking for further downside on the uh, stock 600 banking sector. Okay, folks, that certainly seems to be the, the situation, the case at hand. Okay, I think that's a, a market wrap then in terms of uh, European indices. Certainly remain vulnerable to potential downside. If anything, the French CAC is probably the strongest index, bear that in mind. German DAX still remains weak, okay, we have the FTSE as well, that certainly is vulnerable, okay, and that unfills, unfilled gap below certainly remain the targets on all the uh, European indices from my perspective, and then looking for support. Okay folks, good night.